Today we are taking a look at the pelvic floor. This is a female model, so normally there would be all of these other structures in here, uterus, bladder, all of that kind of getting in the way of our view of what we're seeing now. What you see here is a very large open hole in the pelvis where the three bones of the hips come together and they leave this sort of awkward space. And I say awkward space because obviously we're not hollow on the inside. We have stomach, small intestine, large intestine, blood vessels, nerves, lots of different structures that are in this space. Now without the pelvic floor, this detailed network of fascia, ligaments and muscles, this would just be open. And so when you increased your abdominal uh, pressure, like you bear down, you're doing your grunting, you're, if this was not here, what is on the inside would be on the outside. That is called a herniation. And we have those in small form sometimes. Hopefully no one has experienced like anal prolapse or anything like that. Those are very large herniations. And that actually leads us to our first a door to the outside. Uh, we have to have things that we eat pass through us are obviously absorbed for nutrition, but there's always some waste left over. And that is what this hole is. This is the anal sphincter. This is the end of the tube that starts at your mouth. And so feces just passes right on through just like that. Now the other side of waste disposal is going to be urination, so fluids. In women, the urethra is right here. And so this muscle is the control mechanism for when you need to pee. And it is very, it's very short. It's a short trip to the outside. That plays a role in the fact that women get more bladder infections because the bacteria only have to travel a very short distance before they find an environment that's pretty hospitable to reproducing. Speaking of reproduction, if you have ever been infected with a parasite, a zygote, a fetus, and once it's born, a baby, you may be wondering, how does that baby get out of here? Well, that is gonna be that third hole right there in the middle. That is where the vagina, the vaginal canal, exits to the outside. So when we drop through here, you're gonna see if we look back up, there is going to be the urethra and the vaginal opening, and you're gonna see some of the muscles of the vulva. Now from that, you might extrapolate the fact that pregnancy and childbirth can be very traumatic to the pelvic floor because this muscle has to stretch and move out of the way. And if it doesn't stretch, it will tear. And so there is a lot of trauma that happens when you're passing a very large baby head through the hole of the pelvis.